agree it was worth the effort because my next guest is a true British icon, a legend of popular music from the jam, the style council to his hugely successful solo career. So before we get him out, let's just a reminder of some of his many, many iconic hits. <laughs> I think we're in the same boat. I just didn't have it cut. Not in the same boat, and I can't be bothered. Board. I don't know what I want to do with it now. Is yours a lockdown haircut? It was, no, it was a reaction. I wanted to have a, a, an anti-style style. <laughs> you know, I'm a huge fan, but uh, I'm always a bit wary. I, I never know whether you enjoy doing these things because you're quite hard to read. Because you, you, you don't, once again, don't take it the wrong way, but you don't look like you enjoy things much. You know what I'm saying? No, no, quite entirely. Well, Noel Gallagher called you the. He said, "Is Victor Melville with a suntan?" <laughs> 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 I'm a very happy person. I'm very happy and very uh, settled as well. Good. So, and you, yeah. you don't mind doing it? I've just got a miserable face. I can't help that. <laughs> <laughs> but you and I are good friends, aren't you? Yes, we are. I think we are, yeah. It's hard to tell with Noel, but I think we are. <laughs> um, here's the thing. You have eight children. Uh, Man, that's something, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you're struggling with two. <laughs> Probably is a good idea. Yeah. 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 Well, leave it at that. Eight. Actually, you're in the presence of a master. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, teach me. I've made calls from, um, from David Attenborough as well. Who knows how life turns out for us? I don't plan nothing. So, yeah. And it must be lovely. I'm kind of jealous. What, how old is your youngest? She uh, should be four in July. I'm jealous of that. What I love because my kids are all grown up. And the idea of having a baby in house, what a lovely thing. It's that fantastic. Must be. I love it. Wow. And you, but you've decided to take on the extra challenge. You're homeschooling them. Of three youngest ones, yeah. Wow. Not me personally, obviously. I mean, so I wouldn't be able to teach them or anything, to be honest. Well, you can teach them guitar, oh, guitar, guitar, possibly, yeah. But, uh, yeah, but it, it works out fine. They're really smart, they can read, they can do maths and blah, 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 you know. But I was wondering and how that works for you when you work home, because I know you wrote the new album at home. So you're writing at home while you also you've got the kids at home full time. Yeah, but I have to sort of do that like any time after 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> yeah. So it's always like early hours in the morning, I get a chance to write. And by the way, congratulations. Fat Pop, the new Paul Weller album, is the vinyl. The vinyl is not available yet. I think it's out on the May the 14th. On May the 14th, okay, May the 14th. And you've had a number one album every decade for the last five decades. Yeah. Wow. At least one. More than a, That's amazing. I know, it's, I know it is, yeah. I'm finding incredible myself, yeah. I think it's incredible that it's five decades have gone and have elapsed, and uh, that's pretty um, yeah. far as it is. But what's... I think so hard is that you know, and it, uh, I hope it's lovely for you too. Love for us is that you're not doing the nostalgia tour stuff. No, I'm not being disrespectful when people do that because I love seeing people doing the Elvis, but you're still creating, you're yeah. still doing new music, you're still sort of yeah. challenging yourself in that way. Yeah, and you've constantly changed your style. I mean, I don't know if it's a conscious decision or whether it's just an evolution, but uh, a bit of both. I think just trying to do something different from the last record, you know. One of them, the one that you performed tonight, in fact. Yes, sir. You co worked with your daughter. Yeah, we did, yeah. Is this the first time you've worked with one of your kids like this? Yeah, it is, mate, it is, yeah. Leah, there's a lovely yeah, Leah. Leah. How old is Leah now? She'll be 30 in September. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Uh, but to write with her, that must have been a nice. And why did, you, nice, did yeah. she reach out to you or you reached out to her? How did it happen? I had this song, I had this song we were going to play. Which Shades, of, it's Shades of Blue. It's called Shades of Blue, yeah. And uh, I had the verses, but I couldn't find the chorus. And uh, so we just sat around the, the family piano in the cottage near the studio and we just, yeah, just played it and, and sang it. And, and Leo started singing that chorus and that was it. And then we cut the vocals the next day, you know. Because I didn't know she was in, interested in you. I didn't know she was interested until I knew she'd work with you. And then I looked yeah. at her and I found out. She's done loads of stuff. She's very talented. She's done loads of stuff in her own way. So it's yeah. really lovely to see the two of you working together like this. Or any of the other kids yeah. show a kind of interesting music? Are they? 
Um, they've got, uh, yeah, they all like music. Yeah. Um, whether they go on to play it, I don't know. Not that they're, some of them are too young, maybe. And but they all love music. And if they listen to your older stuff, do they like the older things? Do they like yeah, the jam? Do they like the stuff? Well, do they? They get to hear it, yeah. Maybe yeah. the older ones are more aware of it. And what do they prefer, do you think? I've no idea, Jonathan. I'd never ask him a question. What do you prefer from Daddy's, you know? That's what we can ask the kids, isn't it? They might have expressed the preference. No, I, they don't put on the same they mainly, sounds. They mainly like the new stuff I'm working on, because that's the only thing I'll play them. And did, when, you, when they were growing up, did you used to sing to them at bedtime? I did. What did you used to sing? Go to sleep, my babies. Oh. Yeah. Or, you know, along those lines. But with, with an anger. <laughs> Go to sleep, Paul Weller sings lullabies in his jam period. <laughs> so uh, the album is out May the 14th, and let's look forward to many, many more albums uh, with many, many more great songs on for Paul in the years to come. Paul, you're going to perform for us this evening. Yeah. Thank you for being here, though. Sure, yeah. Paul Weller, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so thank you for having me and get some money. Thanks for calling the Thank <laughs> you.